I have immigrated from Iran to United States in 1988, 10 years after the Islamic Revolution. After half a century of monarchical rule, um, finally in 1979, there was a grassroots movement uh, that culminated in the Iranian re Revolution. Uh, eventually Khomeini came to power and declared it an Islamic Republic. Uh, Saddam Hussein took advantage of this chaos and in 1980 declared war on Iran that launched the eight-year um, Iran-Iraq war. It's really considered the worst conventional war between two uh, states since World War II. Um, and all the minorities, um, uh, including uh, the largest Christian minorities, were uh, drafted into the war. So um, Armenian boys ended up um, participating and dying for uh, a war between two Islamic states. I was directly involved in one of these uh, escapes by helping my close friend uh, to organize his uh, teenage son to uh, cross the uh, border. It was winter of 1985 when my friend asked me to investigate the possible escape routes that were via Turkey or Pakistan. It was late uh, spring of same year when my friend, his 30 years or 13 years old son, uh, and I will call him SH, uh, and myself uh, departed uh, from Tehran to Zahedan. Uh, we had to meet the uh, trafficker next day in an abandoned building halfway between Zahedan and Pakistani border. We were not uh, alone. There were five other teenagers and of course their parents that had to go through this difficult experience. We handed over uh, the kids uh, and immediately left the location as instructed by the uh, trafficker team. The deal was to get a phone call as soon as they get to a safe location in Pakistan. We immediately drove back uh, to Tehran to wait for his phone call home. The phone call uh, came after very long three days. Based on SH narrative, when I met him in Canada years later, uh, they crossed the border covered by sheep skins and camouflaged among sheep herds. The escape was slow, uh, delayed on several occasions, and took much longer than was originally planned. There were many border patrols team uh, at both sides of the border, mainly because of heavy armed drug traffickers. The situation was particularly dangerous due to uh, these armed uh, interactions. These uh, young kids uh, being involved in this dangerous situation uh, were constantly scared of their lives. Uh, also, they were in uh, mercy of a trafficker to pr uh, protect them from bandits who were uh, roaming the area. They made their uh, phone calls from a small city, not too far from the border, where from uh, they were transported, uh, hidden in a trans, uh, transit trucks to Karachi. Uh, all six uh, traumatized kids uh, were kept in overcrowded and unsanitary uh, lodging for a few weeks. Uh, this history is very uh, important and uh, rarely told. Uh, because we noticed an extensive border crossing, illegal border crossing, crossing uh, by very young boys between 13 and 18 year old um, uh, through Pakistan and through Turkey, um, trying to find ways out of uh, Iran in order not to participate in this extremely brutal uh, war that lasted very long. Um, and uh, uh, these routes were illegal, uh, were difficult, were dangerous, um, and um, it's an extremely understudied uh, um, area of, of research.